Hi guys, Squirrel here. I'm back with another uh, Dovetail Games Flight School preview beta build. Again, this is pre-release stuff, so we may see some issues, we may not. Flight training, learn how to fly. So today I thought we'd go for this stuff. I've not done it yet. This is a first playthrough for you and me. Uh, I'm going to drop myself over into Waltham Flying Club. Flight aircraft pilot license, lessons 0 of 6 complete. Uh, takeoff, every student remembers their first takeoff. Blimey, I think mine was on a spectrum. Uh, this one will be made in more memorable as you will be depart from a classic airfield in a true stick and rudder aircraft. You begin in your Piper Super Club at White Waltham. Listen to your instructor explain the controls and take off to 1,000 feet and level off. Let's do it. Welcome to White Waltham Airfield near London. This is said to be the largest grass aerodrome in the UK. The expansive field and historic buildings make for a timeless flying experience, as you'll soon discover. He sounds terribly British, doesn't he? And the Piper Cub is the quintessential general aviation aircraft. I always tell my students, flying a Cub is real flying. Pilots have been known to fly in Cubs at White Waltham since before the Second World War. <laughs> and that's what we'll be going up in today. This fantastic cub has been prepared and fueled for our flight. Lovely. Why don't you hop in? Let's hop in. Let's do this. Let's get the engine started. First, I'll turn on the battery. Now, there are only two bits of information you'll need from the instruments during this lesson. Airspeed, or how fast we're going, and altitude, how high we are. Airspeed is displayed on the top left gauge, that's the most important instrument you'll use today, so get familiar with it. In this cub, the airspeed is shown in miles per hour. Altitude is displayed on the instrument just below the airspeed. It's reading near zero since we're sitting on the ground. All right, let's start the engine and go flying. Let's do it. Here we go. Clear prop. <laughs> hey, he's can gone. Can you hear me okay? We can communicate over the intercom. As long as you have your headphones on. Sounds good. That's better. I've got mine turned up as you're a little quiet. Sorry! First, <laughs> let's check the controls and I'll explain their effects. Push okay. the stick left, then right. Good. Right. This will roll the aircraft in the direction you turn. It's simple stuff and will all make sense once you try it out in flight. Uh huh. Next, gently push the stick forward and then gently pull it back. This will pitch the nose of the aircraft down and up. When you want to climb, raise the nose towards the sky by pulling the stick back. When Roger. you want to descend, lower the nose by pushing the stick forward. This is and like finally, the rudder 101 stuff, isn't it? Pressing these moves the rudder to twist or yaw the aircraft left and right. Notice it turns the wheel as well. It's the hardest control to understand, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> to begin with, you'll probably only use the rudder pedals when we're on the ground. You'll figure it out. Those are not the, the words you want to hear from instructor. The tail wheel, and that's how you steer on the ground. The left rudder will turn us left, right rudder will turn us to the right. Sounds good to me. Since there's no control tower here at White Waltham, we just broadcast our intentions over the traffic frequency. That way any other aircraft nearby will hear us, know where we are, and where we're going. White Waltham Radio, Piper Golf Delta Lima, taxiing from Waltham Flying Club to runway 07. Okay, we're looking good. I'll taxi us up to the Wait, runway. hang on a minute. Piper Golf Delta Lima? Did you see what was written on the side of the tail? That's not Piper Golf Delta Lima. Somebody put the wrong skin on. We'll perform a normal takeoff and climb to 1,000 feet. I know this is all new to you, so I'll talk you through it. Now let's test the engine by performing a run-up. We always do this to reveal any problems before we leave the ground. I'll hold the brakes to stop us from moving. Okay. Gently move the throttle control all the way forward. Good. Now pull the throttle control back out. Good stuff. Now we can taxi onto the runway and line up for takeoff. Let's do this. White Waltham Radio, Piper Golf Delta Lima, lining up runway 07. When you're ready, add a little power to start rolling.
Turn right onto the runway and line up so the nose is pointed straight down the white dashed centre line. So I was just looking at the shadows and the grass texture, I've just seen how good it was. Wow, look at Oh, I thought it was the sky was moving, but it's not. Use it's like some right weird texture on the, the windscreen. Into the right. Can you see it? It's like dirt Use all over the, the windscreen. Use the rudder to tuck the nose into the left. Use the rudder to keep the nose pointed straight down the runway and get ready. Okay, full power. The tail will rise very quickly by itself. Start pulling back on the stick at 40 miles per hour. Wow, that thing takes off so quickly. Fantastic, we're flying. Cue music! Hi! Let the aircraft accelerate to 75 miles per hour. Keep full power for the climb, so control the airspeed by pitching up or down. Let's go for 75 then. There you go. What do you want to do? Go to a thousand. Hold 75 miles per hour with pitch and keep climbing. Let's do that. Wow, these guys who live around here must see a lot of planes take off. Doing about 35, 40 FPS by the way guys, just in case you're wondering. 48 when I look that way. Well, that's a thousand. Coming up. Gently push the stick to pitch the nose down and stop the climb. Fly level at 1,000 feet. Yeah, I know what it says 1,000, dude. Great. Our takeoff and transition to cruise is complete. Well done. Woohoo! Congratulations. You have passed the takeoff test. <laughs> so look, it says... It doesn't say... What did he say? Uh, did he say Piper Golf or Papa Golf? Delta Lima. And it's not. Somebody's got their... Um, the, Either the skin is wrong and this is wrong, or the audio is wrong. <laughs> but anyway, continue to end the lesson. Alright, um, I'll tell you what, let's do straight and level uh, in this video as well, because that was quite short. Uh, solo flight time, 21 minutes, what was that one? Oh, sorry, solo flight time, 21 minutes. It's building up my flight time, isn't it? Got you. Oh, it's probably taken into account the, um, the stuff I did in London. Uh, learning to trim an aircraft is essential skill for any pilot to pilot with a trim. Uh, you have to make some content with a stick. Yeah, okay. This is a good lesson for people because some people were in my stream the other day asking about trim and how it all works. So this will be um, be quite good for if people who don't understand trim. Straight and level. Here we go. In this lesson, you'll learn how to fly straight and level, which sounds easy enough. The secret is configuring the aircraft to fly hands-off at different speeds. I'll teach you how to do that, and by the time we're done, you'll be superb. Ooh, at least traffic. that's the plan. That okay, should put traffic on that road. Go okay. ahead and push the throttle all the way forward so we speed up. Really? Good. See how the nose wants to rise as the aircraft gains speed. Mm -hmm. Push forward on the stick to keep the nose down so you maintain 1,000 feet. Here's the secret. You can use trim to relieve that forward stick pressure. Slowly trim the nose down so you can maintain 1,000 feet without having to push the stick. So right now I'm pushing down the stick. Um, the trim oh. control sets the elevator position of the aircraft to maintain the desired pitch for a particular speed. Okay, I just trimmed it the wrong way. I've forgotten which way I mapped the button. You're a little high. Gently push the stick forward to lower the nose and descend to 1,000 feet. Okay, okay. Right, we are definitely going too quick. He's not told me about that. Okay, push the throttle control all the way forward. You need to reach a constant speed to trim. There we go. So I've backed off on the throttle. I'm now trim. I'm not holding the stick power. in any way. Why does he want full power all the time? What's wrong with this guy? It takes some tweaking to get the trip just right. Let the airspeed stabilise before you make your final adjustments. There we go. That should more or less do it. Good. The aircraft practically flies itself when configured properly. 
With the aircraft properly trimmed, you can fly at any airspeed completely hands-off. Remember, you trim for specific airspeeds. If you slow down or speed up, you'll need to re-trim. Correct, Zamondo. Try slowing down now. So Pull slow the down. control back to maintain 2100 RPM. 2100. And we'll have to trim back up again. There is about 2100 there. Go ahead and set power to maintain 2100 RPM. Okay, give me a chance. Good. I'll See how the up. nose wants to drop as the aircraft slows down. Use the stick to hold the nose up, then trim to relieve the pressure. Keep adjusting the trim until the aircraft flies level at 1,000 feet and 90 miles per hour. 90, did you say? Okay, so I actually need to descend a little bit. Sorry, I need to ascend. You're a little low. Okay, Gently I know. pull the stick back to raise the nose and climb to 1,000 feet. He's keen. Feet. The lad's keen, I'll give him that. Let's climb back up. Good. Keep trimming up until the airspeed settles and the nose stays where you want it. So we're climbing back up. We're at 900. Make small adjustments by just tapping the trip. Then wait to see what happens. Graphics are okay, aren't they? But you can visibly see all the aliasing and stuff. Great okay. job. So now you know the secret to flying straight and level. Use trim to help maintain your desired altitude at any airspeed. So hands free right now. That's basically it. Trim is. Professional pilots always trim because a trimmed aircraft is much easier to fly. Oh yeah. Then we can just relax, and we're not fighting the aircraft. Trim is brilliant. Lesson two complete. So yeah, hopefully you understood that if you're new to flight sim and that is if if you're experienced then you you understand it already. But essentially, uh, when you when you have to hold the stick down or pull it back uh, in order to fly level, then you can basically alleviate that by trimming. So you need to map a button on your stick. You need to map two buttons: a trim up and a trim down, or you can map like a trim axis. I just map two buttons for simplicity: trim up and trim down. Just give it a press and it'll trim one way or the other. Uh, and just trim it until you can let go of the stick and it'll just hold itself. But like you said, if you change the RPM on the engine or if you change speed, you need to re-trim. That's just the way it is. That is lesson one and lesson two complete. That will do for this uh, episode. I shall continue this in the next video. I'll probably try and link them all in the, in the video description so that you've got them all linked there. So check out the video description. I'll put all the lessons in it in a link so it's easy to jump around if you want to, uh, if you're interested. Other than that, take care, guys. Happy flying.